Hi Twin Flames and welcome back to Tarot for You 444. I'm so excited to have you with me today. I'm feeling this beautiful new energy, this fresh new energy coming in today. And so I thought I would share it with you because I have had, um, I just want to quickly tell you before I go into the reading for Divine Masculine, but I've had um, some clients come to me and uh, we've worked through some things and there are a lot of unions coming in and that means that Divine Feminine and Masculine have been working on themselves and this is what my channel is all about is to you know help people come into union with their twin so the two energies you know can light up the world and of course when I say union I don't just mean you know the um, you know the end result of union I'm talking about coming into union you know communicating with each other and then you know there's the separation then the communication then the separation we do this you know we do this with everyone in our lives so we you know we come together with people and then we have alone time and then we come together and we have alone time and right now I'm just feeling this awesome energy where twin flames are doing an incredible job despite what's going on in the world despite what's you know you know all this separation stuff and whatever you know the twin flames are trying so good doing their absolute best and I'm just so proud you know of the collective that I'm channeling for so you know the first card that's flipped out here is you know there's no more need to feel left out in the cold anymore. You know, when you when you get your own vibration intact, your own frequency, you know, then you don't need to feel left out in the cold. It doesn't matter what's going on around you. You know, the people, places and things around you will fall away, you know, if they won't match your vibration. So... You know, a really interesting thing that I want to say is that, you know, if you're vibrating at a certain level and you walk into a shop, let's say, and someone else is, you know, vibrating at a different level to you, you're going to feel the disconnect, you know, and this is why there is so much disconnect in the world because, you know, we have, you know, groups of people or, you know, I don't want to put labels on it, but, you know, you know, you have a group of people that get along really well and they might be vibrating here and you have another group here. And it's not to say that this group is right or this group isn't right. But the reason there's a disconnect is because of the energy. You know, it doesn't even matter what they stand for necessarily. It doesn't matter if it's political or if it's religious or if it's um, cultural. You know, it's just a, it's a vibrational frequency difference. Okay, so what happens is the universe, it, it really likes everything to be balanced. And so... When there's a mismatched frequency, either this vibration, you know, for these two groups of people to be in the same room as one another, you know, either these people have to come down to this lower vibration, which may be, you know, anger, fear, you know, resentment, jealousy, you know, all of those lower emotions. Um, or this group needs to come up to here where there's love and joy and, you know, happiness, um, and so this is why groups of people in the world, um, you know, don't flock together necessarily. Different groups will stay within their own frequencies, um, you know, and there's no right or wrong. I'm not bashing any group or any culture or anything like that. You know, we are all human. Uh, we all belong in the world, um, but it's just a frequency difference. So... Divine Masculine's been dealing with lower frequency people. And so this is difficult because when you're, you know, trapped. <laughs> I shouldn't use the word trapped. I'm going to use the word trapped. But when you're stuck with, when you're stuck with certain people and they're on a different frequency, you know, hertz, H-E-R-T-Z, hertz, frequency then it's very difficult. You know, it's like putting, um, I'm trying to give a good example of this. Uh, 
I don't know, it's like a, a, a tree, a tree sitting in a chemical plant. You know, it's a different frequency. You know, the chemicals are no good. The, the tree is good. The tree is nature. The tree is beautiful. The tree is, you know, a different frequency. I'm not saying one is wrong or right um, necessarily, but they're just different frequencies. And so what happens here is that, you know, either, you know, if you have this tree sitting in the chemical plant and all the chemicals are around, you know, you can imagine either the tree is going to wither and not cope very well or, um, you know, people might come along and get rid of the chemical plant and plant more trees. You see what I mean? So it's a frequency duality, you know, in a sense where, you know, you either you understand that the universe is trying to bring balance and so a high frequency with a low frequency is never going to mesh and this is why certain people don't like certain people when they just you know you'll know yourself that people will come into your life and you'll go oh you know me and me and so and so me and Shona used to be friends and now we're not and I don't know why well it's because your frequency changed or her frequency changed or um or both, you know, Shona may have become in her lower frequency and you may have gone higher up in your frequency, and whereas before you were matching. So, you know, the old Rumi saying, like attracts like, um, is a very profound saying because like does attract like. You know, mag magnetism is important. This is why the twin flames come together because they magnetize to one another because they're on the same frequency and if one twin is up here and the other one's here in frequency then there'll be a mismatch and maybe you know no communication will be happening or you know for some people they haven't even met their twin yet because the vibration levels are so different and usually twin flames come come and meet one another when their frequencies are similar okay um, this is one I've noticed you know with my clients you know and so when you work on yourself you raise your frequency uh, and this attracts your twin in because your twin naturally wants to vibrate towards the highest frequency of love of joy of peace of harmony okay so divine masculine bottom of the deck he's coming back from this contemplation I said this before in a reading not too long ago. He's realized what's important to him. Those two cups missing is literally the two of cups. And um, I'll try and find the two of cups in my other deck here in case you don't know what the two of cups is. And it's right here. So that's good. Thank you. Um, the two of cups is this union between two people who love one another equally and unconditionally. You know, this is two people, two separate people who have the same soul. So no matter what the other does, they're going to love one another. Unconditional love is the key for twin flames. Okay, so sometimes it's hard to love people when they're in their distorted energy. Uh, many divine masculines and feminines you know, come down from this higher frequency and go into the lower emotions. And this is when it's it's difficult, the energy feels difficult and usually the separation occurs so that the twins can heal. If your twin flame is in a distorted energy, um, then, you know, it can be very difficult because, um, you know, that's when addictions will happen that's when people you know will be depressed that's when people will um you know use drugs or use alcohol or use you know anything as a means outside of themselves uh to cope you know some people use food some people use um mm, sport you know over exercising over you know anything over indulging is you know can be toxic because ultimately we want to come into balance so this is why the spiritual part of the twin flame journey is so important because it brings you into knowing that balancing your energy 
um, from within, you know, will, you know, using God's source or source energy or, or whatever you want to call it, universal energy, you know, balancing yourself inside so that no matter what happens around you in the outer world, you have you are coping within your own energy. That's really important. That's a really un uh, important concept to understand. Um, the reason I'm having trouble with my words today is because, because, excuse me, Divine Masculine has been having difficulty speaking his truth. And so I'm channeling Divine Masculine today. So I'll try and collect my thoughts better and bring the words to you as best I can. So there's been this, you know, throat chakra, crown chakra, solar chakra issue. Uh, for some divine masculines, their solar plexus is really, really, really out. And if that happens, you know, there'll be a, a pain, a literal pain in the center of the chest because the solar plexus is overcompensating and the heart chakra will start you know feeling sadness feeling grief feeling like it's coming undone in some in some instances and so i will uh note down the time the reading starts in the description uh for those of you who are listening before <laughs> before the reading thank you okay sometimes i do talk too much but anyway um i digress so 11 40 I'll just say 12 minutes is when the reading starts. Okay, so Divine Masculine, let's have a look here. He has been thinking of the Ten of Cups, you know, wish fulfillment, wanting to come into this joy, this loving energy, this family energy, you know, wanting a happy home, which is what everyone wants, don't they? However, he has needed to cut some people off, you know, perhaps with words, perhaps with a little bit of aggression uh, because you know quite frankly some of them are overstepping their boundary with their energy or they're at that lower vibrational energy which is our, which is what I was saying just a moment ago okay so he's starting to realize that if he wants wish fulfillment which he hasn't completely got emotional wish fulfillment yet these people who are coming into his life and doing all this you know mind stuff with him and you know guilt tripping him and you know saying well how come you're not you know home on time or how come you're not you know doing what you used to do for me or how come you're not speaking to me anymore or how come you're not you know all of this blame kind of thing right he's realizing that it doesn't matter he has to look after his own frequency because if he doesn't what's going to happen is that he is going to end up in these toxic behaviors again. Then he's going to start reaching outside of himself to make himself feel better. You know, perhaps overindulgence in eating, perhaps, you know, I don't know, smoking more or drinking more or swearing more or getting angry more. You know, any of those lower emotions. That's what will happen if Divine Masculine keeps getting stressed mentally. You know, keeps putting himself on a platter for everyone else to just take, 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 and then there's nothing left for him. You know, it's like you have a buffet of food. I love using metaphors. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. But, you know, it's like having a buffet of food and Divine Masculine rocks up and as soon as he gets there, you know, all of his friends and family have already taken all of the food and there's nothing left except one pork chop or, I don't know, that's a bad example, but, you know, a lot of people don't eat pork. So um, <laughs> that was a really bad example. But, you know, you know, there's only like, I don't know, some salad left. And yet, you know, there had been all of this wonderful food, you know, as much as you can eat, you know, like if you go to a wedding or, a, you know, a party like that and there's just, an abundance of food but if he keeps giving like this you know he's literally feeding himself salad and there's not enough sustenance in salad to maintain I mean there is some sustenance but you know what I mean he's he's spreading himself thin so he's realizing that he he can't do this anymore 
And again, this other woman card is showing up. For many of them, it's been a woman in their life or a female energy taking from him. And so he says, you know what? I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to focus on myself and my own abundance. See how he's alone in this card? He's by himself. He's not looking to anyone else. He's realizing that he is his own savior. He can build the money. He can build the, the, the wealth inside of himself. It's not all about money, of course. However, pentacles do represent money. For some of them, there's a third party situation in the way. There has been a third party situation. You know, the divine masculine has someone else in their life or the divine feminine does. Or there is a location factor where they can't get to one another. Or if it's not a location factor, you know, it's something in the way of it. You know, something to do with a family issue in the way or perhaps even, um, you know, a lack of a lack of being able to see one another because of what's going on in the world right now this separation that's occurring i'm feeling i don't know why i'm feeling drawn to this food down the bottom here you know i'm getting a channeled message let food be your medicine let food be your medicine and in fact you know i recently shared uh this chakra table with a few of my clients um and just I'll just have a sip of tea. Mm. You know all the chakra colours coincide with foods. So a lot of people know that, you know, if they're uh, having trouble with their chakra, you know, they immediately think, oh, I need to meditate or I need to, you know, um, I don't know. A lot of people have different ways of, of trying to you know uh, maintain their chakras a lot of spiritual practices um, and I would never recommend listening to a frequency or hurts that you don't know um, because a lot of them can be harmful I've seen a lot of people get very sick from listening to frequencies so I just wanted to put that out there if you didn't know that not everyone's going to agree with that and that's fine take what resonates here what I'm trying to say is if, if you're having trouble with your solar plexus, let's say, the colour of the solar plexus is yellow, like in this card. And so anything yellow, any foods that are yellow, will help the solar plexus. Okay, so the heart chakra, as another example, is green. So any green kind of food will help with the heart chakra. Now, you know... The other thing I want to mention is that if you had too many yellow foods, you could overwork the solar plexus. So this is, again, all about balance today. Everything in balance. Okay. Um, a lot of Asian cultures are very clever. They make fried rice. And in rice, you know, you'll notice when you eat fried rice that there are a lot of colors throughout the rice. So, you know, the, the rice is white. Then there might be red for capsicum, which would be a great root chakra food. Okay. Then there might be uh, broccoli, which is a great heart chakra food because it's green. Okay. And then, you know, there might be carrot, which is great for the sacral. Okay. And so on and so forth. So the more colors you can add into your diet, you know, having a rainbow diet then the better uh, for your physical and spiritual health because not only are you helping the body by having a variety and a balance of food but you're also helping you know yourself spiritually because we know the chakras you know are part of the spiritual body okay so we can't literally see the chakras which means they're part of our spiritual body so i thought you might find that interesting Okay, so we know Divine Masculine's been going through it. We know he's starting to realize that he needs to take care of himself. Many of them need solar plexus work. Many of them, you know, the chakras from the solar plexus up need work. So the colors of those chakras will coincide with food. So if you're speaking to your Divine Masculine, or if you are a Divine Masculine, you can eat foods that literally coincide 
with the colors of um, of the chakras so the throat chakra a great one for that would be blueberries or blackberries as long as you're not allergic to any of these foods of course you know take it how it resonates for you um, now the crown chakra isn't related to any food um, and it's actually to do with sunlight getting sunlight and nature so if you can go and hug a tree or if you can stay out in the sun you know if you're feeling activeness in your crown chakra like it needs some work or you're getting headaches even drink more water and uh, you know go out into nature and hug a tree because that will really help you know don't let anyone see you hugging the tree <laughs> I did that once I went to a park and I thought I want to hug that tree it's so beautiful and I did and I hugged it and hugged it and there was <laughs> traffic going by and oh anyway we won't go there but it was funny at the time it was funny you know um, you can literally just stand next to the tree and you know put your hand on it or um, you know even take your shoes off get your feet into the soil do some gardening um, that's really great for the crown chakra so what chakra haven't I mentioned I've mentioned the root so that would be red foods like beetroot beetroot's a great food um, as well I mentioned the sacral oranges and carrots are great for the sacral uh, the solar plexus you know any yellow foods so I guess you know there's yellow peppers and there's also bananas um, I'm trying to think of that other fruit I think it's called squash okay uh, for the heart chakra anything green so you know your green vegetables are great even green tea is great for the heart chakra um, throat chakra we mentioned blue so anything blue like uh, blueberries um, or um, blackberries I think I said yeah I did and then okay so third eye, I think purple foods um, pink and purple foods I'm trying to think of pink and purple foods okay so like strawberries and um, hmm what else is pink hmm I don't know it's hard to think about pink foods pink foods pink foods I don't know maybe put them down in the comments if you can think of more pink foods <laughs> might be something we need to google so anyway let's look at secrets of divine masculine now what he's not telling you that you can help him with that you don't maybe know okay so i'm using my secret deck okay this one um doesn't have a you know i bought it and it, it literally just came in plastic packaging so it didn't have a name so i can't tell you what name it is uh, but it always lets me know the secrets so it's really good okay so so the divine masculine wants to be the fool now he's kind of had this shift hmm. notice the pink there that's you know higher heart chakra and also the third eye well the third eye is kind of purple really more than pink isn't it so I was kind of wrong purple foods is is for the third eye so I apologize for that but you know purpley pink is very similar so with you know we're talking higher heart here you know up to the third eye which is what I was saying before and um, you know this of course brings in the thought He's having thoughts of being the fool now he's he's starting to believe in himself more he's starting to realize that trapping himself you know into a box with you know karmic people uh, who are of a lower frequency than him isn't really good for him okay so divine masculine the message is you will be completely safe to take that leap of faith nothing will go wrong unless you go back into this energy of being so exhausted that you can't help yourself anymore this is the ten of wands notice how the green here the green the heart chakra here is affected when you give too much when you don't take care of self and you give too much the heart chakra is affected I love how the cards are really bringing in the chakras today people are taking advantage of your kindness 
and it's and it's you that feels this burden upon yourself these burdens can start affecting your health do not take on other people's burdens that's right you know you must <laughs> i love having having bad hair days it's so much fun i was talking about this the other day hang on <laughs> let's just make it really bad and then when it goes back to normal <laughs> it'll be fine there we go now we're sweet okay <laughs> do you guys have bad hair days tell me in the comments if you do it's funny um i find silly things funny so it's good to laugh anyway it's better that he's in this full energy and so when he's in the full energy then he'll realize that he can take a leap of faith for himself and be silly and have some fun and enjoy his life you know he doesn't have to be all of these things to all of these different people if he so chooses so it's good for him to choose <laughs> okay so now we've got two running jokes my bad curtains and my bad hair in in the background okay the next is coming up the empress here and this is you know many of divine masculines are devoted to their mothers and also to their twin flames so this three of swords here is this heartache this heartache that he was feeling was because you know he's literally saying i love the divine feminine you know like she's my mother or like she's the mother of my children or like she's my family so he's connecting the twin flame journey now into this beautiful family feeling okay and he's saying that you know if there is a third party in the way a person place or thing in the way it's really has been you know making him feel as though he's not as strong as he thought he was so this is what was negating the healing but then he comes into this strength energy and says you know what i can overcome this i've got the strength to push through this you notice again we've got this pink this is the higher heart energy you know the heart chakra is green but the higher heart is this beautiful pink energy you know we're leading up into the higher chakras now divine masculine you know even if he's been feeling low he's trying to stay in the higher chakras he's trying to connect with source energy he's trying to go about his path in a really beautiful way in a really succinct way in a strong way you know we have the sun here you know this is a really burning solar plexus kind of fire energy and he's saying you know you know what i've loved divine feminine for such a long time all these people who are judging me all these people who aren't in their heart chakra all these you know ego oriented people because if you're not in your heart space you're in your ego right all of these people who aren't in their heart chakra guess what i'm working on myself right these cards are beautiful we have the heart you know the colors of the heart and the higher heart the pink and the green here and so for many divine mes masculines masculines <laughs> oh dearie me divine masculine what are you doing to me today i'm cha i'm channeling their their funner energy they're more fun they're starting to be a little bit more fun they're starting to be a little bit more like harry you know a bit more a bit more fun <laughs> okay so this is good because divine masculine's heading into a totally new direction some of them have a new job opportunity that's something different from their usual work there's success on the way there's new beginnings on the way if they stay in this higher vibration it's very beautiful and next to that we have you know the card i showed before which is the eight of pentacles talking about work again there's new beginnings available here it says you are going into a different job altogether not all of you will resonate with that but this is what it's saying for some divine masculines they're gaining qualifications and for some of them they may, may even get a promotion at work 
you know there's a lot of people in the work who've lost their jobs but there's a lot of different kinds of jobs becoming available because of what we're going through hmm. divine masculine has really been through it and he he realizes that the twin flame journey is his path for the collective i'm channeling for today divine masculine he had a little hiccup there with the people places and things around him but now he's realizing what's important to him and this is so beautiful because when he realizes that the twin flame journey is what's important to him he's not actually thinking about the other person here he's thinking of himself because the twins are the same soul in two different bodies okay so have a think about that for a moment what i just said He's not actually thinking about someone else. He's thinking about himself. And remember, twin flames, what you do for yourself, you do for your twin. So when you take care of your body, when you nurture yourself, when you give yourself love, you do this for your twin. Right? You don't need to do anything outside of yourself to get your twin to come into you. You do it from within. Okay? Okay, so we've got some love messages now. And these are from some of the, my favorite cards. High Priestess 1111. I love that she made these cards. I'm addicted to the way I feel when I'm thinking about you. Okay, so this is beautiful energy. This is, um, you know, not a bad kind of addiction. This is, you know, the addiction where you... Um, you know the true love kind of addiction you know you are the best thing that happened to me in a long time okay for some divine masculines they say i made a mistake now i'm living with the consequences i regret it i really do okay and for those of you who don't know divine feminine if you're listening right now if you don't know the divine masculine is definitely stay, saying this to you. Please stay in my life. I don't want you to go. Okay. <laughs> okay. I need to read it and then put it up. When I first met you, I honestly didn't know you were going to be this important to me. You know, many divine masculines didn't think that this was going to be a lasting thing. Many divine masculines thought, you know, oh, well, you know she's nice and you know she seems good and sweet and kind and loving and hmm but you know they're realizing now that you know divine feminine's the real deal and there's four more love messages here i'm connected with <laughs> hang on i'm connected with you no matter where you are okay many of divine masculines know that they are divine masculines for those of them who went away for a time to go and sort their stuff out, they say, I'm sorry for hurting you. I never wanted you to feel bad in any way. Okay? They don't ever want to hurt you. They don't ever want to hurt themselves either. Even if they do hurt themselves, they don't want to do that. Sometimes they're, you know, doing the behaviors that they do because they're in fear or they are feeling sad okay so this is why divine feminine you must come in with unconditional love always get your own vibration right get yourself high vibrational so that you can give your divine masculine love don't be so exhausted that you can't come in with unconditional love when he comes to you he needs love okay unconditional love no matter what he's done wrong that is part of the twin flame journey is learning how to love unconditionally okay that's not to say that you don't have boundaries, all right? But you still will always love them unconditionally. Please don't doubt my love for you. It's the only thing I'm sure of is the next one. And then the last one we have is very beautiful. There's just something about you I'm scared to lose because I know I won't find it in anyone else. And of course they won't find it in anyone else because no one else is their twin flame. 
Okay, so so my video doesn't go. <laughs> Look at my hair today. Uh, oh my god, this is why I do audios sometimes. You know, sometimes it's <laughs> sometimes I say mm, audio today. <laughs> oh dear. Maybe I'll put some bubbles up so you can't see me. That might be good. Okay, so we've got two cards flipping out of the deck here. This one is for Divine Feminine. I am selfish enough to want to feel good. I'm selfish enough to want to feel good. Feeling good indicates your connection to clarity, wellness and an abundance in all good things. Feeling good is your most natural core belief. I also feel this is for Divine Masculine too. Feeling good. Life is about feeling good. How you feel is a marker to, to what's going on with you. If you're not feeling good, it's because you your frequency isn't right. Okay? Your chakras aren't right. There's something needs to change. If you feel sad or you feel depressed or you feel guilty or you feel stuck, something needs to change. Okay? Divine Masculine. Here we go. How wonderful I am. Yes, you are. You are wonderful, Divine Masculine. Look at that. You are stars. You are the moon. You are the sky. You are wonderful. <laughs> we are wanting to awaken within you your memory of how wonderful you are. How good you are and how worthy of whatever you are wanting you are. <laughs> wow, that's a tongue twister. Look at this, Divine Masculine, how wonderful I am. Divine Feminine, I am selfish enough to want to feel good. Exactly. Okay, now the joint message for both twins today. I am life everlasting. I am an eternal being. Look at that. Look at the flowers and the sky and the sun and all of the colors, you know, we've spoken about regarding the chakras. You know, this is the earth being able to give nutrition to feed the physical body, which also, you know, translates into the chakras. It says here, you cannot die. You are everlasting life. In grace, you may choose to relax and allow your gentle transition back into your non-physical -phys state of pure positive energy. Your natural state is foreverness. Okay. I don't I mean not everyone believes in reincarnation, but there is, you know, scientific evidence to say that, you know, the soul lives on, the soul goes on. We, you know, there's a lot of evidence to show that. Um and so I want you to remember before I go that you are a mind, a body, and a soul. Okay, so there are three parts of you and your mind is for problem solving only. It's not for judgment. It's not for overthinking. It's not for, you know, being critical of others and being nasty towards others. It's only there. It was only ever made to help you with problem solving. So, you know, if you want to know how to bake a cake, you'll use your mind. You might Google the recipe and and you use your mind okay so your body obviously is the physical matter form that you are in in this in this lifetime and so we need to look after it we do have to take care of the body so that it lasts for as long as it can while we're on this earth okay and then the soul the soul you know i believe the soul wraps around the body and you know, this is the part of us where we feel that we want to be spiritually connected to source. This is the part of us that, you know, sometimes longs to go home, wherever you think that may be. You know, for some people it's heaven, for some people it's, you know, uh, on another planet, for some people it's, um, you know, back to the universe, you know, back to the, the infiniteness of all of creation, you know. 
it depends on your belief system and the belief system isn't important here what is important is that you know that you have a mind a body and a soul and that you are a a multifaceted being okay and you need to take care of the mind the body and the soul so that they can be integrated together and that you can live your best life okay because when you take care of all three of those things you know they can work in harmony with one another okay if you're negating a part of yourself um, you know like for some people they don't look after their body very well you know they might eat eat badly or they might um, you know do absolutely no exercise or whatever it is doesn't matter but just as an example and so you know spiritually they feed themselves all the time and you know their mind gets fed all the time they might do you know sudoku puzzles and they might be really positive and and live this fantastic you know way of being you know kind of like Eckhart Tolle kind of you know stuff or you know feeling being positive all the time but the thing is you know they're negating the body because the body also is connected to the mind um, and the soul okay so then for other people they negate the soul and they're looking after you know their mind and their body and sometimes people negate all three sometimes people do not feed all three of these things um, you know and it depends on the person okay but we are a mind a body and a soul and all three you know parts of us need to be taken care of um, and then you know as an, an added extra there we've also got you know the emotional part of us as well okay we've also got the emotional body so mind body and soul plus the emotional body you know we have to take care of that as well all right so if you need me my uh, my email is you know down below in the description box and you can get a reading from me if you need a twin flame reading or a general reading or a soulmate reading or a guidance reading on where you want to be right now to do with your work or to do with your life I'll be happy to do that for you um, I you know I generally give about 24 hours um, you know for some some it might be quicker um, depending on you know how many clients I have at one time so you know get in contact with me via email tell me what you want and you know we can go from there mm -hmm. I'm sending you love peace and light today and I just want to say how wonderful you're all doing despite the crisis that's going on in the world instead of focusing on the crisis focus upon what you do want to see in this world and when you stay high vibrational and you know you focus upon what you do <laughs> what you do want to see in the world then you bring in you bring in the new world so if you want to see love in the new world be loving if you want to see peace in the new world be peaceful if you want to see kindness in the new world be kind okay whatever you want to see on new Gaia or new earth or in the age of Aquarius right I want you to bring this in through yourself okay we can't live in a new Gaia or a new world if we are being in those lower emotions it's okay to be angry for a minute it's okay to be jealous for a minute it's okay to be you know whatever tired for a minute but then you need to step out of that that vibration and come back up again okay and this is what will bring in the new frequency of new earth of the earth that we want to live on and this will help our friends and our family and the people around us and the children who will be here enjoying the future of earth so it's important that we keep our frequency high lastly I want to say I have two ascension videos literally called video one and video two in the playlist on my channel so if you're interested in ascension go and watch those um, because really the twin flame journey is all about staying high frequency and self-love okay so if you can do that if you can stay high frequency keep positive and give yourself love the twin flame journey will come into you um, a lot easier and there will be a lot less struggle between 
between you and the twin flame journey <laughs> okay i shouldn't laugh but you know you know those of you who are twins know <laughs> so we'll say goodbye to harry say goodbye to nat my name's nat if you didn't know nat natasha <laughs> call me call me whatever you like as long as you don't call me late for dinner okay <laughs> have a uh, wonderful wonderful day or night wherever you are and i'll see you real soon bye